Gabriel Flores checking in here, about to discuss a image I uh, collected. Um, <laughs> this is the uh, image. It's a uh, pure white rectangle, and I think I have a border on top and bottom. It looks like there's a border on top and bottom, but um, because of the way I imported the image into Made with Kindmaster, this program, it's hard to tell. If I would have used a layer, for example, their uh, quote-unquote layer option, it would be easier to see if there's a border up top and bottom. But look at the top and you can see a black strip and look down bottom, you can see a black strip. Um, so it looks like there probably is, um, and this is just all white. Um, I threw a vignette over it, so that's why if you look in the all of the corners of the rectangle, it looks shaded. That's not from my original editing job. This is a um, a uh, filter that came from Made with Kindmaster. Just another additional stylistic thing that's gonna add to the um to the detailedness of of my of my work. <laughs> um I I don't remember where this came from and the reason why I figured I could get this image just all white and and get away with it is because I've done this in the past where I've um isolated a single color in a like an email or something like that and just f uh, cropped in onto a, a color and made the color the entire screen. Um, and I used it for a background and I threw a picture of me over the, the solid background. And I thought it would be a interesting thing to do to see what would happen with it. Um, nothing really came about. Um, and, um, I wanted to do more with it, but some of them, I, a couple of them turned out pretty cool. Looking, I, ha I had a couple that turned out pretty cool, so that's why I decided to do it again, because there were a couple that were actually pretty cool, and they were just basically backgrounds that I created from cropping out a certain color or pattern from what used to be a an entire ad or email or picture, so we're talking... <clears throat> like just like 1% of a image that I isolated and turned into a background because obviously if you zoom in that much to 1% of the entire image um you're going to be you're not going to be able to tell you're going to have a background because it's just going to be pro usually all solid but depending on what what it is you might have some patterns in there and stuff so it's just interesting to do to take an image and to create a background from it to zoom in and then use it for your own pictures or for something else or whatever it's. And plus, you know, it's nice to have solid backgrounds to if you're doing projects. So you can just if you want to do a collage and you want to make it fancy, throw it back. Well, you have to. No, you don't have to. Yeah, you do have to have a background to do a collage. So. Uh, some people, um, don't know how to get a solid background, so they'll just use like a picture of something else and then throw pictures on top of that. So this is like a cleaner way to just get, let's start with the white canvas and then start throwing stuff on there to do a collage and a collage guys is just a collection of different images and, and words and stuff onto a single picture. Anyways, gotta go.